362, coming in 3 marks 7. I can't see them! Come around, come around. Splash 1, and 2, you're clear, Coakley. Thanks, Sarah. Green leader, all green. Bring it in tight. If we're buying time, let's get our credits worth. Green leader, let's see if we can see the Super Star Destroyer. Green 4, once you tied on my wing. Green leader? I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. More fighters. Six to one seven. Two dead ahead. They really don't want us getting close to that thing. Ha! <laughs> Just makes me want it all the more. Coming over to one one by seven. Stay tight, pig. All green. Watch your back. More interceptors coming our way. Watch it, green. I'm hit. Damn it, Cass, hurry! We're getting shredded up here! Our shield is down. Command attack on the Duck Star. We're on our way. Red group, gold group, all fighters, follow me. Green four, take seven and three. Green, gold leaders attack run. On it, green leader. Hey, I've got the one on the left. I hear you, green four. Are we going in after them? Negative. We'll do the work. Let them have the floor. Green group, kill them. This is home one. We have Imperial launchers from the Death Star. Watch for evacuation. They may be trying to reach the forest room. I have a visual lock on Lambda Launch. Moving to the step. Come on, you're a slug! Why does my lock keep slipping? Rebel fighter, abort your run. Repeat, abort! Friendly abort, and repeat, friendly! Friendly Green 4, identify yourself. Green 4, this is Commander Skywalker. Repeat, vessel is under friendly control. Commander? Not your usual ride. Oh, it's her to wear an X-Wing jacket. I was kinda in a hurry. You're going to be in a bigger one. You've got admirers. I'm making a run for the moon. Go for it, Commander. I've got you covered. <laughs> Commander, you're all clear. May the Force be with you, sir. I can't believe it. Can you? Anyone here from Corona Squadron? Anyone? Has anyone seen? Didn't know about the Admiral, but tactically, I do not believe our luck. There are at least seven. Verified. We lost a lot of good people. Lieutenant Lulo? Green 4. Nice flying. Thank you, Green 2. I heard they're shuttling personnel down to the moon. To celebrate. That is correct. I take you'd like to join them? You're acting group commander now, so... Yes, sir. I know General Dean is worried about an Imperial counterattack. I can remain on duty if- Stop. Of course you can. Shara, I'm sure he came through just fine. Thanks, Lieutenant. Sure. I'm gonna sleep so much. Ha <laughs> ha! man. I just want something to eat. Anyone seen Cass? No, ma'am. Sorry. Hey, Lieutenant Bay. Nice flying. Uh, yeah, thanks. I'm gonna ask him to dance. You look sweet, but you should have seen them. <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what I'm eating. I'll have another. You did what to my ship? <laughs> what are you laughing at? We're gonna have to find a replacement. She's mostly in one piece. <laughs> mostly? <laughs> don't talk with your mouth full, Chewie. General Solo, excuse me. Huh? Yes? I'm looking for your strike team. Spec Force Pathfinders? Most of them are over there, celebrating. Thank you, sir. Green 4, correct? That was some fancy flying you all did out there today. You're one to talk, General. You never quit, do you? I'm a connoisseur of beauty in all things, my friend. Right. Okay. See, I still don't understand a word you're saying. Can I help you? Pathfinders? That's us. First in, last out. <laughs> and broken furniture in between. I'm... I'm looking for... Tuck, I got you another med kit. Maybe there's something in there that'll stop you flirting with my wife. Uh, yes, sir. Sergeant Dameron, sir. Lieutenant Bay. <laughs> Sergeant Dameron. Wanna go for a walk? Desperately. Were you worried? Not even a little bit. Liar. Were you worried? Before and after. There were things on my mind when we had bucket heads and walkers shooting at us. 
we've been fighting for so long, I'm having a hard time believing we won. There'll be mop-up, new government, all that stuff. I'm asking myself all those questions I never let myself ask before. Such as? Such as, what do we do now that it's over? I've got a couple ideas, soldier. Where's my strike team? Pathfinders, fall in! <sighs> Something up? No idea. Love you, Shara. Well, I hope everyone got a good night's sleep. If not, I've got just the cure. Signal Intelligence just finished decryption on a batch of Imperial transmissions broadcast before what was left of their fleet turned tail and ran. The good news is that they're in total chaos. The bad news is we've got an Imperial holdout on the far side of the moon, and they're dug in, waiting for an opportunity to counterattack. Seems no one told them they lost. The Ewoks did us a good turn, and General Maydean feels, and I agree, that it would be rude to leave a company of Bucketheads in their backyard. So we're going to finish this once and for all. We're going to hit the base hard and fast. Limited air cover, just the combat transports once we get the pilots allocated. Sir, consider this pilot allocated, General. Don't touch that. No, don't touch that either. Ugh, General, a little help. You volunteered, Lieutenant. Don't touch that! Coming up on the landing zone. We're going to need cover to deploy. Take us in hot. I was thinking we need to find a nice planet and build a house. Heck of a time to tell me. Now! Alright, everyone in! Worried? Why would I be worried? Mister, find a nice planet, build a house. Oh, sorry, gotta go get shot at some more. Love you, babe! You guys were in there a while. Yeah, there was a lot of data in their computers. Lots of comms traffic. Lots of plans. It's not over yet. Captain Duvat. Lieutenant Gulen. The messenger has arrived. Clear the bridge. Clear the bridge. You are Duvat. Captain Laird Duvat. Yes, messenger. You will verify with blood. Of course. You are verified. My message is for you. From the Emperor himself. I serve at the Emperor's pleasure. Hear and obey. Captain Duvat. You and a handful of others unknown to you have been selected for a particular honor. Resistance, rebellion, defiance. These are concepts that cannot be allowed to persist, Captain. You are but one of many tools by which these ideals shall be burned away. Operation Sintai is to begin at once. Eat my messenger. He shall relay you to your target. <laughs> Lieutenant Gulen. Captain? The message was from the Emperor himself, Lieutenant. But, but the Emperor is dead, sir. Repeating rebel propaganda is an act of treason, Lieutenant. We have orders. Prepare to set a new course. We don't stand a chance against that walker. There's a mid-line of high bombers! Green group. We need an approach corridor for the Wow Wings. Now! I'm hit! I'm hit! This is not about their armor! Green two. On oh, my wing. Come to 211. I'll pick you up, Green One. John, you did not just... Look at Ralph. Nah, they don't. They're tight! Wow Wings on approach! This is Feral Group. Vector is set and we are on approach. Feral Leader, this is Green One. We have your visual. Coming to cover now. Lock 
Good luck. Black one. Green leader, I've got one on me. I'm licking Coolin. He's on me tight. I see him. Burlo, a little help here. No boat there. Surprise. <laughs> Two and three, release your clusters now. Magnetize. Nice flight. Did you see that? Sent those bucket heads packing. Calling for support of ground operations for mop up, cobalt, and exeter groups. Lieutenant Bay, what did you do to my A Wing? It's not what I did to it, Wiley, it's what the Empire did to it. I keep telling them they lost, but they don't seem to be getting the message. I'm gonna have to pull the whole port engine array. For a pilot who just helped liberate Kawa City, that's a mighty long face. This coming from Maduro's? I would have you know that my face is considered quite short for one of my people. And devilishly handsome too, I'm sure, Lilo. That as well. I heard you flew assist for the Rampant Squadron. Yeah, the Beltire Liberation. And three days flying part of the screen for the Fleet Command. Lula, we're all working hard. But not everyone is working as hard as you. When did you last hear from Kess, or your boy? I talked to my father and Poe last week, but... Kess has been on Pathfinder Ops with General Solo. No personal comms on the field. You know the rules. I'm sure your husband's fine. It's you I'm getting worried about. I'll see if I can't get you assigned to some light duty for the next few days. Give you a chance to catch your breath. You're the logical choice, Princess. You've already visited once in recent memory. That was hardly an official visit, Mom. I'm not comfortable taking time away from my duties here. There's still too much that needs doing. I can think of a dozen other diplomats you can send for this mission. But none of them combine your skill and your reputation. You represent the best of us, Leia. You know what Bale would tell you were he here. He would tell me duty to others before duty to oneself, yes. That is exactly what he would say, yes. I beg your pardon, Princess Leia? Lieutenant Shara Bay. I've been assigned as your pilot, your highness. So you're the one that drew the lucky straw. Very well. Let's get this over with. We're flying without escort? That is correct, Lieutenant. There's a concern that a larger group will attract attention. Isn't that unusual for a diplomatic mission? Not if you're trying to arrive unannounced. The Navi computer's already sent. You'll be able to jump to hyperspace once we're clear of the fleet. Pre-programmed? Another security measure. It's almost as if nothing's changed, isn't it? We won, ma'am. <laughs> so I've heard, Lieutenant. So I've heard. Made you something to drink. Thank you. Who's that? Hmm? This is Private Abel Moreno. He was a nurse aboard the medical frigate during the Battle of Endor. Was? One of the oxygen converters exploded near his post. His patient lived. You're notifying his next of kin. I've lost track of how many of these I've written over the years. General Madin uses a protocol droid to help write his, but my parents taught me that some things need a personal touch. I was here a few years ago after Yavin visited Karen. I'd have thought someone would have come to meet you. No, they don't know we're coming. So I imagine that our arrival has put them in something of a frenzy. Security? Security, yes. It's beautiful. Yes, it absolutely is. Palpatine was from Naboo, wasn't he? I'm surprised everything still looks so intact. Don't be. Palpatine's greatest weapon was terror. He reveled in the knowledge of Naboo's fear that he could and would destroy all of this beauty the moment it suited him, just as he did Alderaan. Here they are. Princess Leia Organa, I am Governor Danta Gasset. On behalf of Queen Saruna, it is our pleasure to welcome you to Naboo. I'm only sorry we were not prepared to greet you more formally. No apologies necessary, Governor. Seed's hospitality is renowned. Allow me to introduce my pilot and companion, 
Sharabe. You are both most welcome. Please, if you'll accompany me to the palace, Her Royal Highness is eager to speak with you. My message for you is very simply this, that Nambu represents the best of the Old Republic. Its assistance, your assistance, Your Highness, would be invaluable in leading the way to a restoration of the Senate. As we attempt to form a new government, we hope we may rely on Nabu's support, counsel, and aid. We have mourned what was lost for so long now. It seemed to us it might never be recovered. Palpatine's stain is heavy on our people, and we carry that shame still. Your visit, your words, a honey. Not just to ourselves, but to our people, Princess Leia. How could we do anything less than give our full support to your proposal? How could we do less than to accept your invitation eagerly? Queen Serena, you are gracious, and on behalf of the Alliance and the New Your Republic, Highness, pardon the interruption, but something's jamming all orbital sensors. We're experiencing a planet-wide blackout. No transmissions are getting on or off world. Princess! The storm! It just came out of nowhere! Jamming at full power, Captain. Climate disruption array now at 20%. We count three Class 5 hurricanes already, another dozen forming. I want 100% within eight hours, Lieutenant Gulen. By order of the Emperor, Naboo is to be scoured. Yes, how's it look? I don't know, Sarkis. It's a secret ISB base where they do unspeakable things, so... Time to earn our pay. All charges set. Strike leader to all teams, sound off. Strike one in position. Strike two, ready. Strike three, standing by. Strike four, good to go. Light them up on my mark, boys and girls. Three, two... Armed and ready. One, now. Under attack. No. We are under. Get to your boat. Get to Where are they? Where are they coming from? We are under attack. This is not a drill. Tell them that's a bonus. Strike leader, strike four. General, I think I may have just opened a door for us. Southeast side. Lovely. All striking. Have a breeze. Southeast side. Kiss! On your left! Thanks, Chewbacca. <laughs> Strike teams, form on me. All right, thanks to Sergeant Dameron, we have a way inside. Resistance is going to be heavy. They know we're here. Wait, uh, Chewie? Where's Goldenrod? <laughs> no, I didn't. I told you to keep an eye on him. Go and get him. I don't know what he's thinking sometimes. How else are we going to break Imperial encryption? We could ask them all nice like. Remind him that they lost, maybe? General Solo, may I remind you that I am not programmed for combat operations. My primary function is... Obviously, or else you know to keep up. Now shut up and stay close. I doubt the ISB is going to be happy to see us. Let's get the doubters on it. We need more help here. Have a light on the fire team. But I don't understand. What is happening, Captain Cora? An attack of some kind from Orbit. That's all we can conclude, Your Highness. There are reports of typhoon strike storms all around the planet. Even the gunmen have confirmed. Those would diminish on landfall. These, they're only getting stronger. We have reports of fires, flooding, destruction across all of them. It's the Imperials. It's an Imperial remnant. It's got to be Princess. Palpatine's finally covered a middle. Even if he's doing it from beyond the grave. If they're altering the weather around the planet, they were talking about an orbital array of some kind. Satellites, or perhaps multiple small vessels. And at least one capital ship. A Star Destroyer. That would explain the jamming. We need ships. We need pilots. We have barely any combat trained pilots these days, and no fighters, Princess Leia. The Emperor demilitarized Naboo years ago. That is not entirely true, Captain Koro. This wing was sealed after the Trade Federation invaded. Queen Liatni moved the fighter operations out of the palace during the Clone Wars as a security measure. No one has been down here in over 20 years. I make no promises as to what we'll find. Queen's authority override. So shall Saruna. 
Twenty years. Hopefully some of these still have power. Do you feel that? I feel... cold. Must be the storms. The wind chill, maybe. I just felt... Never mind. Sheriff? With this one, that's three of them on hell. Hopefully the tanks are still full. But these are all equipped for astromech assist. And I'm not seeing any droids here. If they still fly, you know, I'll be manual control. I think I can manage it. But one fighter against whatever's up there? Two. I know how to fly. Your Highness, part of my assignment is to keep you out of harm's way. Then it's a good thing I need a wingmate. Better than staying down here doing nothing. And two of us... Make that three. I was combat certified the year before I was elected. Pull them off! I need time to initiate the data punch. Hands up. This is the moment where you decide if you want to live or not, buddy. I... I offer you my surrender. Let's get this sliced. Looking for anything on Imperial contingency plans, fleet movement, counterinsurgency operations. 3PO, let's get to it! There is no need to shout, General. I'm right here. Yeah? Well, go be right there and get the computer to start talking. I cannot help but feel my contributions are overlooked. This would be so much easier if R2 was here. Oh, that is interesting. Operation Cinder is running. It seems quite widespread. Oh, oh dear. General Solder, I think you had better take a look at this. It's about an Imperial operation currently in progress against multiple targets as specified by the Emperor. One of those targets is Naboo. Queen Saruna, I have to object in the strongest possible terms. You don't know what's up there. You could very well be killed. Allow one of your handmaidens to fly in your stead. Captain Koro, your objection is noted. But I would no sooner ask one of them to sacrifice what I am unwilling to sacrifice myself. Continue the evacuation of the city, Captain. The fire combat teams are to remain only until the last of the civilians is seen to safety. Yes, Your Highness. Are we ready, my friends? We are, Your Highness. I suggest Lieutenant Bay act as flight leader. She has the most experience of any of us. I think that's a very wise suggestion, Princess Leia. Lieutenant Bay, we await your orders. Flight this is Governor Cassette. Be advised, average wind speed around the globe has increased 50 kilometers in the last hour alone. One more report of flooding in the building collapse. The fire ships are having difficulty staying airborne. On the focal flag array. The advisory council estimates that we have an hour, two at the most. Before these storms render Naboo inhospitable. Whatever you're going to do. We pray to do it fast. Ship to ship comms are working, so we've got that going for us. Let's fight the jammer. How are we doing back there? My ionization chamber is choppy, getting power surges. Run a pulse through the pressure manifold. It should clear it. Pulsing. That did it. Very clever, Lieutenant Bay. I've got an Imperial Class Star Destroyer, 22 Mark VI. Looks like a key. Well, we knew it would be easy. Your Collective Highnesses, locate and destroy the satellites at all costs. I'll buy you as much time as I can. I see one of them. Locking onto it now. Lieutenant Bay, what are you doing? The Imp Star Beast has a complement of 72 TIE Fighters, Princess. I'm just hoping they don't launch all of them at once. Here they come. One satellite down. Acquiring the next. They're jamming to scramble my sensors. No way to know how many are left. Just keep shooting shiny things until there aren't any more. Got another one. Ladies, I really need you to hurry. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Just hold on, Sarah. Four satellites down, going after the next. No, I just took a hit. Starboard hydraulic. Got two ties on me tight. Listen, Princess. I want you to do me a favor. Have a husband. And a son. I don't... I don't want you to write that letter, okay? I don't want you to have to do that. I won't, Lieutenant Bay. I won't need to. Eight down. Looking for the next. More ties coming our way. The Star Destroyer is moving in. I may have spoken too soon, huh? Maybe, Your Highness. But may I say? It's been a privilege flying with you. You as well, Lieutenant. You as well. Abu Fighter, this is General Lando Calrissian aboard the Mel Crawler 2. We are engaging the Imperial vessel. 
you may disengage. All fighters, begin your attack. Lando, your timing couldn't be better. Why show up early when you could arrive in the nick of time, right, Princess? Time in the Fengimpe. Restoration. Star destroyers attempting to withdraw. Movement is intercepted. All batteries. Prepare the fire. Satellite count. Saruna. Queen Saruna, please come in. I'm still here, my friend. And I just got the last of them. You said you didn't want me to write your letter, Lieutenant Bay. I'm trying to figure out why. I've always admired you, Princess. I just didn't want to add to your burdens. Hmm. Is that your husband? That is indeed my husband. Then I won't keep you from him any longer. <laughs> there are ongoing Imperial operations targeting another dozen worlds. Burnin Khan, Catavant, Abed Nido, and Commodore amongst them. Chivalies appear to be solely punitive on the part of the Empire though the purpose of many others is far less clear. Your efforts in combating Operation Cinder have been instrumental in saving countless innocent lives. That said, as much as Admiral Akbar and I wish we could tell you the end is at hand, we see no respite from hostilities at this time. Not the news any one of us wanted to hear, I think. No, it really wasn't, Lulo. You ever think that this is never going to end? Ah, uh, Shara. You can't think that way. Otherwise, you're just fighting for the sake of the fight, right? I understand your husband put his paperwork in, and it's been approved. I took the liberty of submitting yours. You shouldn't have done that, Captain. Chara, you and Kess have done more than your fair share. It's mustering out. It's not desertion. Besides, it's already done. Should be clear within the, uh, week. It's past time you and your family got to live the lives you've been fighting for. Time for you to pick out a world to settle on, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. You're talking to me? What? Wait, where? I am keeping up. If you just tell me who... Thanks, R2. So the problem with these Lambda-class shuttles, they fly fine with one, but it's much easier with a co-pilot. Especially through hyperspace. This is just a quick trip out to Vatine in the Merrick Sector. There's something I need to get. I'm Luke Skywalker, by the way. I know who you are, Commander Skywalker. There's not a pilot in the Alliance who doesn't. You seem familiar. Have we met before? I, uh, almost shot you down during the Battle of Endor. Lieutenant Sharabay. You're the pilot who flew with Leia on Naboo. I send R2 to find me a pilot, and here you are. Interesting. So what do you say, Lieutenant Bay? Shall we take a flight? I'd be honored, Commander. How's it fit? It's a little snug, and wearing it gives me the creeps, honestly. Are you going to tell me why I'm dressed up as an ISB officer? You're actually dressed as a specific ISB officer, a woman named Commander Alicia Beck. You're going to get us into the base on Vatine. An Imperial base? That's correct. And why exactly are we doing this? Because in the lab at the heart of that base is something the Emperor stole a long time ago. We're taking it back. We're just going to walk in and walk out again. We obtained Commander Beck's clearances during the raid at the Wretch of Tehran. That should get us through the door. As for the rest, I'm going to trust in the Force. Vettin flight control to an identified T4A. Transmitted transponder and clearance will be shot down. <sighs> Ventine flight control, this is the shuttle Antara. ISB Commander Beck aboard, you will stand down at once and grant clearance for landing. Stand by, Antara. We're receiving your clearance now. C Commander, our apologies. Security has also been increased lately, as I'm sure you understand. Commander Antara sends his compliments, and we'll meet you at the landing pad. I should expect nothing less. Beck out. You've got a mastery of Imperial arrogance, Lieutenant. Very nice. It's easy. You just act like everyone else is a bug you're too busy to squish. What do I tell the Commandant? That you're here to inspect the security on the lab. And when he asks about you? I'm your bodyguard. Commander Beck, this is unexpected. Given the state of rebel activity, I'd have thought you'd have sent some warning of your plan to visit. 
If you had received word, Commandant, this would hardly qualify as a surprise inspection. I wish to see the security on the labs immediately. Won't you introduce me to your entourage first? It's a droid, and my security officer, Commandant. Their names are irrelevant. If you'll follow me, Commander Beck. I admit I'm surprised you're here. I'd have thought the ISB would be more concerned with destroying the Rebellion, especially now. Rather than launching surprise inspections of Imperial research facilities. I will attend to my concerns, Commandant, as I see fit. The same as I expect you to attend to yours. Of course, Commander. We've increased our security measures since the events at Endor. You can see, Commander, that as we progress deeper, access becomes more and more restrictive. Until we arrive at the inner lab here. There are only two people in the galaxy who could freely access this room. Myself and the Emperor himself. I am all that remains. Until now, I never understood the need for such precautions, to be perfectly honest. All of this? To study a couple of twigs? Clearly, I was mistaken. You had all the right clearances, I'll give you that. But you should have done your homework. You see, Commander Beck is missing her left eye. So now I must ask, what are they? Clearly, you know. What makes these little trees so special that you two rebels would try to bluff your way in here to steal them? These are all that remain of the tree that grew at the heart of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. The Force is with them. The Force is meaningless, and the Jedi are extinct. You couldn't be any more wrong, Commandant. Now, R2! Shara, you and R2 get the trees. I'll cover you. Keep them safe. Lockdown. Put the facility into lockdown. Come on, little guy. Let's do this quick. When the field shuts down, they'll fall. Don't let them drop. They're very fragile. We got them. Good. Stay close. That's great, Commander. But we've got to do something about that cannon, or else we're going to get cut to pieces. Get to the shuttle! Detonators! Stop shooting at him, you idiots! Blow him up! Luke, look out! That was probably your last mistake, Commandant. We're done here. Aren't you overheard your conversation with Captain Luulo? Something about mustering out of the service? I'm still trying to decide if that's what I want. Search your feelings. I've got a son I've barely seen since he was born. A husband I get to see for an hour at a time every couple of weeks if we're lucky. I'm tired. And I feel guilty for even saying so. I feel like I'm abandoning the Rebellion. But if the cost of our struggle is the lives we fought to protect, the future we hope to see, then what is it we were fighting for? I only bring it up because I didn't think there would be two trees. One of them is spoken for, obviously. But I'd like it if the other one found a good home. Let's go home, Sharabay.
Admiral Versio. Operation Cinder is to begin at once. Resistance, rebellion, defiance. These are concepts that cannot be allowed to persist.